This video will show the operation of the Bedini SSG without its uh, usual magnet wheel and you know, with a small uh, permanent magnet in its place. This is sort of experimental, so if it doesn't work right away, we'll have to keep shooting until I can make it spin. Currently, you see the machine running under 6 volt power. The battery on the uh, far left is driving the coil, which propels the wheel. The battery in the center, you see, is being charged by the wheel. Now, I'm going to stop the wheel by hand without disconnecting the power. And in its place, I'm going to try to spin uh, an oblong permanent magnet. This is a glass ashtray. This is what I'm going to be spinning the uh, magnet in. There's a bit of double-sided tape on the back to hold it in place on top of the coil. Here's the, uh, the magnet. These are commonly sold uh, as toys. They're called like snake eggs or things like that. They're often sold in uh, science shops, museum shops, this sort of thing. It's a single piece of ferrite, uh, not ferrite, excuse me, a single piece of hematite, which is a kind of uh, natural iron ore. Now you can see it's upright and spinning. I'm going to adjust the potentiometer on the circuit board to try to get it to spin more vertically. in the light a little bit. show it better. This is by natural light now. See the magnet is spinning upright on its axis. It's being propelled by the same uh, pulses from the electromagnetic coil as the wheel. It uh, is also charging the uh, charging battery as well as the wheel is now because it's spinning at very high RPM. I've read written uh, descriptions of this kind of action as having a, as much as 30,000 RPM. I have no way of measuring this. I do know it's spinning extremely fast because sometimes it will uh, spin out and fly out of the of the uh, tray and uh, spin for a very long time just on the floor or on the tabletop. I'm going to shift positions here a little bit and get a better angle on it. That's fairly stable right now. It'll spin a very long time like this. Uh, if you're doing this uh, this trick, this option with your uh, SSG, then um, my advice is to use 6 volt batteries instead of 12. The impulses from the 12 volt battery are much stronger and they have a tendency to upset the, the magnet and keep it from balancing like this. 
This is the 6 volt battery charging and I've adjusted the potentiometer on the circuit board down about 30 percent. See if I can't get an even closer shot here. Seems a little blurry. I'll try moving the camera in itself. You can see it's spinning right on top of the uh, steel rod core. wobbles a bit, but it's staying upright. The interesting thing here also is that it's, it's still charging the uh, charging battery, so I am generating electricity in the same manner as the uh, normal wheel on the uh, SSG. Trying to get a good view of it here. If you'll watch that a moment, I'll get a multimeter and uh, show you the uh, what the output is like. Okay, I have uh, attached my multimeter to the uh, output lead. Sorry for the awkward camera work here. You can see that. So the output, based on the 6 volt input, is 5.33, 5.32 volts. That's the charging amount that's going into the uh, the charging battery, which is right there. The other battery, the Rayovac, you see, is the uh, the old Rayovac, is the power battery. Here's the uh, magnet from another angle. It'll spin like this for as long as it maintains equilibrium. I once kept it going. Oh, uh, what's the longest? Like three or four hours? And I just had to stop it and do something else. You can put a drop of lubricant, a little vegetable oil or WD-40 or something in the glass tray, but uh, that makes it a little quieter, but it doesn't make it go any faster or any easier. Anyway, that's an interesting variation on the uh, Bedini SSG using a single permanent magnet instead of the elaborate wheel.